everyone and welcome to my first video. Today I'll be showing you how I made this cute plush doll that I'm using as a prop for a cosplay I have planned. First I drew out a pattern for the body, arms, legs, and head. You can make your own patterns by looking up basic doll sewing patterns and adjusting it to how you want your doll to look. Once you have your patterns, trace them on the fabric you want to use. Here I'm using a light tan fleece fabric. Once I was done tracing, I cut the patterns out. I also cut extra fabric around the pattern so that I can sew on the black line. Then the long process of sewing begins. I don't have a sewing machine, but if you do, then this process will go on much faster. First, I started sewing my doll's head. The side of the pattern with the trace lines is the inside of the doll's head. So I placed the patterns inside out and started a running stitch on one side of the pattern. Sewing one side keeps the two pieces together. Then I can start sewing the small seams in the top and the bottom of one pattern. Here I'm showing you one side finished and I'm going to repeat the same process on the other pattern. The pattern I made gives my doll a round head, so I want to start by connecting the points on the top. That way, the top part of the head will be completely closed. Then I finish sewing the top seam. I'm going to repeat the same process with the next pattern. It's looking good so far and I need one more piece to sew on. Once I sewed all of my four head patterns together, I flip it inside out and I start stuffing. Stuffing I think is my favorite part of making these dolls because you really get to see them come to life. The head was the most tedious part, the rest is pretty easy. Just like the head, I put the patterns inside out so I can see the lines and use a running stitch to all throughout. Then I flipped it inside out and started stuffing. Here I'm going to start connecting the head to the neck of the body using a ladder stitch.
like you can see, I'm sewing it a little bit crooked, but after I pulled it, the seam still came out straight. And I got started sewing the doll's arms. I use the ladder stitch again to close up the arms after stuffing. Here I'm sewing the legs to the body also using a ladder stitch. I did the same process for the other leg. The final step was that I sewed the arms to the body. I also used a ladder stitch even though it looks a little messy but it still worked. And that's it, the doll's complete. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I inspired you to make your own doll. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more videos.